Hello, my name is David. I've been recently looking to purchase a new computer, as my old broken down laptop with the screws falling out just wasn't cutting it anymore. So, buying that new computer, there were many things to consider, whether I wanted a laptop or a desktop. Now, laptops appeal to me because I travel a lot. Half of the time I'm up here in Pennsylvania, the other half I'm down in Virginia. So, the things that turn me off of laptops, though, is that laptops just are not, you're not getting much power for what you're buying. Generally, laptops are less powerful, they have less powerful processors, and, well, here's my, here's my old computer. <laughs> but, desktops are a lot more powerful, but I don't like the situation of desktop because it's not very portable. Um, one thing that appeals to me about desktops is that I can build my own, and I like messing around with computer parts. So, what about computer parts? Whether or not I go with a desktop or a laptop, there are quite a few major components that all computers consist of. First of all, the RAM. Random access memory. Whenever you open a program or your browser, temporary information about that program is stored here. Um, but secondly, hard drive storage. So if you have a lot of files, this is where it is. It's like the warehouse of your computer. There are some rather slow and cheap options for hard drive such as a mechanical hard drive on the left there. And, but there are some very fast solutions, like SSDs in the middle. SSDs are quite a bit more expensive, so I decided to go with an on-par in-between solution in SSHD or solid-state hybrid drive, which is a mix between the two. CPU the most important part of any computer. Inside your computer, this is sitting around the middle. It does the computing of a computer, so obviously it's important, and the faster your CPU, the better programs will run. Then you have your motherboard. This connects everything together, and it it hosts the RAM, and everything is attached to this in some way. Then there are GPUs. GPUs are what allows you to show things on your screen. If you don't have a GPU, you won't be able to see anything. You do not necessarily need a very high-end GPU as the unless you are planning to do gaming, or detailed photo editing, or video processing. And I guess that is all I have to say. <laughs> but maybe there's a few more things, as I haven't quite finished. Um, so in the CPU, there are a couple major manufacturers. There's AMD and there is Intel. AMD is generally slightly cheaper, but Intel is a little bit faster. However, AMD is unlocked for overclocking. Now, overclocking is sending your CPU a little bit higher than the um, stock speeds. But you will need a more powerful fan for this, so a more powerful cooling solution if you want to do overclocking. But I guess that is all I have to say. Thank you. <laughs>